Another chilly start across much of the state. Good morning, and for the Campus Weather Service, I'm Penn State Meteorologist Matt Alto. Temperatures across the state are in the 30s at this hour, and as we wake up, we're seeing 32 degrees in Dubois, 32 as well as the Franklin. Good morning, Pittsburgh. We're at 33 degrees, and temperatures are approaching the 40 degree mark at this hour into Erie. We're at 39 degrees. Off to the west, uh, the east, that is where we got the warmer temperatures this morning. 42 degrees into Harrisburg, 37 in Alltown, and 42 degrees into Philadelphia. Temperatures are going to continue to rise as we move into today. We're actually see quite a nice day. Last night we did see some scattered snow showers. If anything, they were really light and really didn't reach the ground in the port northern portions of the state. We did see some isolated showers last night into State College, but otherwise much of the state remained dry during the overnight hours last night. We're into the 30s and 20s across much of the Great Lakes here, but um, as we take a look to the west, look at this. Negative 13 degrees at this hour into Cup Bank. That is some pretty chilly air. 14 degrees in Billings, 20 into Bismarck. The good news about this is we're not expecting to see any type of temperatures like this here into Pennsylvania. But we do have to watch this storm system associated with those showers. We've got one right here. This will continue to slide to the north, won't provide us with any form of precipitation. But we have to watch this next one, which is making its way onto the shores of the Pacific Coast. This one will start to move into the Rocky Mountains and into the plains this weekend. And it will have a major impact on our weather as we head into the holiday week. For today, though, we're going to see uh, some clouds across the northern portions of the state. This is thanks to uh, the lake as the winds blow across it. It's going to enhance some of these clouds, and it'll keep it a little bit on the cloudy side across the northern portions. But to the south, we're going to see an abundance of sunshine, and really it's going to be a nice day. We see 45 degrees into State College. 48 into Pittsburgh, and then as we head into the eastern portion of the state, we see 44 degrees into Scranton and 50 degrees into Philadelphia. For tonight, we're going to see those clouds stick around into those northern portions once again, uh, 31 degrees into Bradford, 33 into Scranton. But down here into the southern portions of the state, we're going to see mainly clear skies get it down to 32 degrees tonight in the State College. Uh, temperature is a little bit warmer along the shores of Lake Erie, 41, thanks to the flow coming off the lake and those warmer water, the water temperatures into the 40s right now. That's keeping those temperatures on the warmer side into Erie. The further you head away from land, the t cooler the temperatures get. But for tomorrow, we're going to see an exact duplicate of today. We could do a couple degrees better on the temperatures, though. Those, we see those clouds continue to stick around into those northern portions of the state but really just another beautiful day and definitely get outside and enjoy it tomorrow. We'll see 51 degrees in State College as well as into Pittsburgh. 50 degrees, 56 degrees into Harrisburg. We'll get uh, one notch better, 57 degrees into Philadelphia for tomorrow. Now we're going to take a look upstairs and this is where we can get a good indication of what type of temperatures we're going to see and also how fast these storm systems are going to be moving across the country. Right now we've got a nice warm pocket of hair here across portions of the southern plains as we put this into motion, we're going to watch this begin to slide its way into our region. We're going to see temperatures in many locations into the upper 50s, and some locations may reach the 60 degree mark as we head into early next week. But it's this storm system out here in the plains, which we're going to keep an eye on. This will be a weather maker as we head into the early part of next week, and it could provide us with some uh, wet rain showers and uh, really soggy weather as we head into Thanksgiving on Thursday. Take a look at the extended forecast though. Uh, for tomorrow, we're going to see, like I said, the abundance of sunshine. Stick those clouds around into the northern portions. Temperatures are going to be anywhere from 45 degrees to 55 degrees. Sunday's looking like the best day of the weekend. Uh, we're going to see that tranquil sunshine, copious amounts of sunshine. It's really going to be a beautiful day. Uh, some locations are going to approach 60 degrees. As we move into Monday, that's when we're going to see the storm system begin to make its way into the region. The eastern portions of the state will remain dry. It's the western half, which we begin to see those rain showers move into the region. Temperatures approaching 60 in some locations. Then Tuesday, much of the state will be seeing the chance for some scattered showers. For the Campus Weather Service, I'm Penn State Meteorologist Matt Alto. Have a great weekend.